Hearts, in fact, just to give those uh, people on the outside edge as uh, good a chance as the people through the middle, so it means that the uh, start is not necessarily uh, a uh, best person, best shot uh, kind of thing. It makes it fair and more even for everybody. We're going to go into that whole shot corner and to look out for them, so uh, waiting to see the uh, update. Uh, here we go, and uh, how good are this? The roar of the... Uh, Four strokes uh, is lubricated by uh, Lucas Oars, quality uh, sponsor. Proud to be behind a quality class like this. More noise than you'll find. Probably uh, we might have uh, maybe two other uh, four strokes right across all the other classes put together, but this is a big one for the uh, 250cc flyers and our uh, 14 to 16. How the nerves down there for those riders. It all comes down to this one. You can have plenty of other events along the way, whether they be a, uh, a Sand Champs or a Manawa Two Champs or an Auckland Champs or a Taupo. Uh, Winter Series, but uh, this is a big one we uh, love every year. New Zealand Juniors excited about this through the whole shot. Of course, that whole shot corner has been re refined as well, so it's a uh, different corner compared to what it was uh, last year. Made a few uh, uh, changes uh, midway through the season last year. Picked up on uh, having a few other riders with us, so uh, here we are and looking out for our uh, first gate. So uh, here we go. Beautiful drop of the gate. Now we go. Oh, up through the middle. I think the Honda's got the nose in front. Looking for the bright helmet. Will it be Phoenix? Goes wide on the corner. Oh, and then underneath him. Beautiful line. Went too wide. Phoenix has got it. Oh, 7 2 2. How good is that? Phoenix van der Schuten and uh, hot form there. Man, a man, I tell you what, the other rider going too wide, sort of lost all the power up on the loose dirt of the boom. So a bit of carnage back there. We've got uh, some still down, uh, locked in together there, trying to get the bikes off the top of each other. One away and still another one left. So uh, two riders caught up on the corner. Don't know quite who it was that went uh, high and wide, but they went a bit too uh, high and that left the gap open and uh, Phoenix has taken it. So seven double two for uh, Phoenix, away to a flying good start. Check it out, CTAS Live going around the world as we update to our uh, first race of the uh, 2024 AFC Motorcycles New Zealand Junior Motocross Championships here at Flips Moto Park. And in uh, hot form at the moment, the uh, 722 of uh, Men or Two uh, Club Champion in the Phoenix van der Schuten on that uh, Honda Motul uh, best build construction, Alpine Star City Honda, 100% goggles, Pirelli, along with unforeseen decals, Dr. Trim with uh, Flying W uh, suspension, Nick Republic along with uh, Twin Air Renthal, along there with uh, Han Wheels, Matrix, x from uh, Moto SR, Vortex, Henson and Works Connection, a quality sponsor, find a quality rider. As we look out now for our uh, uh, update, they're coming in over the top, the famous McDonald's jump, as we've called it for years, following the years of uh, McDonald's support here in the Manawa too. So uh, go you champions as we uh, look out for this opening lap and uh, hitting the pace here. And we'll go past the uh, lap score line for the first time. So uh, uh, Hayden uh, uh, Phoenix uh, is the man, there we go. So uh, Phoenix in the update, about had to say Hayden Draper. I'm just uh, trying to pick up on where Hayden is at the moment. I don't have him there in my, uh, maybe, no, I don't have him in my top three, don't have him, he was fastest qualifier. In fact, it's uh, Caden Strode, Caden Strode that's gone up there for the second place. Nixon Parks has got it, then going back to Travis, then Jack Ellingham, Lockie, uh, Karadiana, Lucas, where is he, where is he, where's Hayden gone? Hayden Draper is not there at the moment, not in that top group, so our fastest qualifier is uh, back in the run at the moment, but it's uh, Phoenix to do the hard work and get the uh, glory early on. Phoenix van to shoot and out to lead in first place as we go to... Uh, uh, Kate Strode, so our uh, visiting Aussie, of course, we had him at uh, Woodville coming back for more and enjoying it, which is lovely to see. We'll uh, uh, take Aussies uh, any day of the week. So there is your uh, group at the moment. So uh, Caden in the uh, best uh, seat in the house at the moment to watch the racing. Down in the program, in fact, is the uh, 21 out there on that uh, Honda Racing Australia, a Thorium X Australia, uh, gas imports along with... Uh, uh, Mental Fomoto, love that, that's a cool kind of a name, Mental Fomoto. Somebody's put a good bit of thought behind that one, get the uh, pun there. Uh, SKD along with uh, Oats MX and, uh, and Mark uh, Sladek along with uh, Seaview Property. as a whole list of sponsors for Caden, so uh, well done Caden Strode out of Australia on the CRF 250, giving uh, a Honda a 1-2 uh, out there at the moment, so 14 to 15, uh, 250 racing. And all on, I see uh, Ollie Corbin, he's another one well back in the field. Wow, so a few of them that are caught up there. So, uh, Bennett Caton and then go to Nixon, Nixon Parks, who's been in this amazing form lately, and just held on to his uh, New Zealand uh, cross country title. He won on Easter Monday, which is only uh, three weeks ago now, in uh, Wairapa, just of course down to our uh, southeast from here. Great uh, event uh, promoted by the Bush Riders Motorcycle Club and under the uh, uh, commissionship of uh, Claire Claire and uh, Paul Wibley, 
superb series uh, this year, race between the North Island and South Island uh, venues over uh, February and uh, March, April. So, all right, here we go uh, with the update uh, back once again, and, uh, second him out. So, uh, still with uh, Phoenix, looking good at the moment. His to lose, you would say? No, far too early in the motor to make a statement like that, but i tell you what, this man knows this place. It's his other home, so there he goes. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix out for the race lead. Looking to uh, Caden, he's going wide. Uh, Nixon getting up over the kicker on the inside line. That's uh, looking super exciting. I see it was only Caden of those first five riders that's usually uh, a far wide uh, low down burn to power his way through there uh, Travis Taylor looking good for that fourth go to Jack Ellingham then in fifth place ahead of Blocky McLaren, Lucas Robinson yeah Lucas good ride in seventh place he's the one moving up at the moment so uh, all on for uh, Lucas can he keep up the uh, race pace so uh, good for Lucas to be up there and amongst our uh, uh, fast and flying uh, competitors so that is uh, a very good result when you make a comparison to uh, where his riding was and more importantly where the others are in our field so Good for Lucas as he uh, powers his way through there. Hayden Draper just picked up Hayden back in 16th place and a good start by that man after a superb practice qualifier on that LMC Husqvarna. So uh, uh, looking out for his riding to uh, make a uh, move improve on the number 96. The cracker man on the LMC Husqvarna lends his uh, online flight path uh, guts racing. Uh, certainly you're uh, getting an idea that uh, Flight Path, what a moto venue that is, it's uh, on the cusp of having some uh, more big events, so uh, just the way that uh, there's a little bit of uh, Auckland uh, uh, clay pack, they've actually imported some sand into it big time and they're mixing that with the clay and trying to break the dirt down all the time and make it a little softer and more rideable and floorable uh, than it is uh, because of course with a little bit of rain the uh, attackier Auckland soil becomes a, uh, a nightmare for Moto so with a bit more uh, sand in it becomes a bit more pliable and uh, offers a bit more uh, flexibility with holding events as the moisture is more absorbed rather than is uh, resisted by the hard pack uh, track so uh, check it out Flight Path Motocross a cool new venue to uh, play and practice on in Auckland region, uh, just in the Auckland Airport uh, country. In fact, of course, why it's called Flight Path, pretty cool name, really. All right, here we are, back with the action at the moment and uh, checking out Phoenix as he uh, starts to extend the advantage. Man, he's looking all the shiz here, isn't he? Hey, how good is this? Here he goes, uh, Mr. Phoenix Land is shooting out there in the front at the moment, looking to second to uh, Caden. He's using the kicker at the moment. Nixon keeping him on us. Those first three, they're making a massive break. Look at that. They've gone big time there. There's your top three. They've gone past. Here is uh, Travis Taylor. Good work from uh, Travis out there at the moment. So uh, Travis then, as we look to the 199 on that uh, Honda Hub supported uh, Taylor Farms uh, CRF 250. So uh, that is Honda holding uh, three of the top four placings in our race package at the moment. So uh, good uh, efforts by uh, Honda Race Team. Proud of being behind their 250 riders. And uh, Travis Taylor, a fine quality bet as far as the riders are concerned to uh, support racing. So Lucas Oils, uh, 14 to 16 years class. There we go, looking out for our hot shots at the moment. And it's a, uh, I would say, quite an upset in some ways when you look at this top group because a few of the stars are missing and a few quite haven't fired yet. So we'll look out for them. We go to Lockie McLaren. He's made his way up again on the move ahead of Lucas Robinson. He's come up to six. Wow. How good is that from the man? Lucas Robinson out in New Plymouth on the uh, Moto HQ Johnson's Moto Crown Kiwi Alpine Star. Uncle Seen Decals Express Raceway New Zealand Iron Force Trailers 100%. So. Uh, uh, Taranaki uh, 250 rider Lucas Robinson, an exceptional form up there, just keeps on moving up. Eight, seven, and now in sixth place in our uh, Lucas Oils class, no pun intended. Lucas and Lucas, Lucas Oils and Lucas Robinson out there into our uh, top group. Also, to pick up on a few more of our other riders in our top 10. Unfortunately, uh, Cooper Smith, Aiden Taylor, and uh, no Cody Shepard for a lap as well. So, not quite sure what happened to Cody. Is he one of those that was caught up with the carnage on the start? Two very good Honda riders there, Aiden and uh, Cody. So, bad luck that they haven't been able to make it through to uh, join this elite lineup at the front of the field where they should have been otherwise. Tell you what, uh, certainly something to look out for. Here we are. There's your race lead. Race lead still with Phoenix. I tell you what. Uh, uh, he's just getting better and stronger. There's your top four. Really, it is your top four, I feel. You go back as far as uh, Travis Taylor on the 199, and then there's a big gap in the fifth place, a far bigger gap than I was expecting to see unfold. So here it is. Phoenix, he extends the advantage. Caden, he extends the advantage. Nixon, he extends the advantage. And the massive uh, breakout, and the biggest gap in them all is from uh, a four back to five, because here in fourth place at the moment, 
is the Honda of uh, Travis Taylor out there on the Honda Hub CRF 250. Uh, Honda, Honda, Yamaha, Honda for the uh, top four at the moment. Now the gap, now the gap. Did not expect to see this. Thought with the 250 riders that we'd see it much closer together than we've got to here at the moment as the uh, a Yamaha comes uh, flying through. And uh, keen just to update Jack Ellingham there on the 66. So uh, uh, Jack out there on the Yamaha New Zealand uh, Mr. Motorcycles, uh, Troy Lee Design, Watson Suspension, Pirelli, uh, Dr. Trim uh, Power Parts, Depot, along with uh, B Unique Signs, Nutrition Systems New Zealand. So uh, Jack Ellingham on the move in our uh, Moto family at the moment. Fellow Yamaha rider Lockie McLaren along then with uh, uh, Ollie Corbin. So uh, looking out for Ollie uh, then into uh, seventh place. So uh, getting Ollie's uh, perspective now out of uh, Danny Vick on the uh, Crown Kiwi uh, CSL JW seats uh, flying. Uh, w uh, suspension, TSS motorcycles, Hermans and contracting nutrition system supported KDMSX 250. So good work from uh, Ollie. Ollie, a long time uh, man or two rider, right from uh, 65, 85, 125, and now 250 racing. So uh, check out Ollie. Of course, earlier in the uh, time of his uh, racing, the family only had to travel uh, over the hill from uh, Paya Tour to join us here. They've moved a little bit further up the line to uh, Danny Vegas now, but uh, still catching the awesome Corbin family on many occasions here to enjoy Moto in the Manawatu. All right, here we go, Lucas Oils, uh, 14 to 16 years, uh, 250 update. And that uh, top uh, 10 we've been uh, talking about. With, uh, Lucas now back in eighth place ahead of Hayden Draper. He's moved up to nine and Karadiana's got the 10. Well done to Karadiana, of course. They're going to try and put together the big time uh, double of doing both the uh, Woman's uh, 12 to 16. Of course, she's only just turned 15, so she's still got all of this calendar year left as a 15 year old eligible for a junior. And she, of course, has still got all of next year. So she's further got another two uh, junior titles potentially for her and her racing. So uh, uh, pretty awesome to uh, see uh, her input into our sport. And of course, as a 15 year old, she's just won her first ever New Zealand senior motocross title. So she could go on to creating uh, some unbelievable history in uh, New Zealand motocross could become the most winning junior rider and uh, above all the uh, potential to of course uh, put that together with multi times uh, women's championship she's certainly looking unchallenged at the uh, helm of uh, New Zealand women's motocross at the moment so go Karaitiana and uh, knocking a very good uh, top 10 out of here at the moment so look out for her on the uh, 394 bike out of uh, Radahi for Kawasaki New Zealand White's Power Sport Bike Talk Tamaranui Nutrition Systems Still Shop Hamilton East uh, C4 Energy Forest Service and Training Chase Work Suspension uh, along with uh, Kuhn Logging and uh, Top Speed Media Moto Muck and My Family what a cool uh, reference there to a great family supporting a great girl Karaitiana Horn uh, there you go, there's a, a good summary of our uh, top 10 that we've got at the moment. Uh, King to uh, look out for a complete update of our field and that uh, sad bad news about the, those of our field further back, Cody Shepard, uh, no response for lap number one. Uh, Jake Spears then in uh, 23rd place and 22nd then to uh, uh, Aiden Taylor. I suspect then that Aiden was one of those caught up in the carnage of the start, so he'll be absolutely gutted with it. Talk about the fact that he was uh, uh, late to get away. The other field was, they were almost a third of the lap through before they got away, so it's going to be a hard job to try and make up for it. When you get a setback like that so uh, early in the moto, it is hard, hard work to try and fight your way back, but I'm sure Aiden, uh, as capable as he is, uh, should be able to get up there and uh, make a move in the field. He is, after all, the sand track specialist, and one of the youngest we've seen, actually, to be on a uh, 250. He did it uh, when he was still only 13 years of age, so uh, rode and uh, some of the lower profile events before he was eligible for this 14 to 16 class so he too has got another uh, three years of uh, junior sport in him so bit of a setback here on his uh, home flips track for the uh, starter racing still with phoenix still out in front still your hot shot check him out 722 going to uh, uh, caden strode out there at the moment uh, showing us the uh, number 21 look out for that honda man in there along with the 309 of uh, nixon parks as well so uh, nixon then uh, He's in uh, very good form. Uh, just loved the way he performed at the senior level. Man took that all in his stride.
Well, 17 up over the top for uh, Lucas, chased along by uh, Karaidiana. So uh, uh, Lucas was in at uh, eight, dropped, I think, to nine. Karaidiana still here at uh, 10. So here's your uh, top 10 to go past doing a uh, extra lap as we're looking uh, back to the next, the KDM. Uh, Lined up here, 95 to get his way through. That is uh, Fletcher Saunders out of Rotorua on the Trimax logging. SS Harvesting, Patterson O'Connor, Motorcycles, White's Power Sport, Showy, uh, Fly Racing, Glee at Bridgestone and RK Chain. So good for you, uh, Fletcher. Trying to crack into that uh, top uh, 10. It's uh, pretty hard to do so, but I'll tell you what, uh, if you ever came away from a motocross national saying you finished in the top 10 in your class, would be a uh, big string to the bow, and we'll uh, look out to see hopefully that they're able to do that uh, as well. Uh, 152 looking out for Riley Caird out of uh, Timaru on that uh, central feed supported Honda CRF uh, 250. Good on you, uh, Riley. So, uh, Riley Caird, uh, Riley's shown up as being out of uh, uh, Timaru. So, uh, good to have our uh, South Islanders mixing it up with so many others in this class as well. 722, there's your race leader blasting it. I tell you what, uh, 722 for Phoenix. Phoenix uh, Van is shooting your uh, hot shot race leader. He's in first place. 21 there for uh, Caden Strode out of Australia, also on the 250. There's Aiden Palmer. So Aiden is circulating. 141. Looking back to the uh, Kawasaki in there. 905. Another one to look out for then is uh, Luca Pax out of uh, Tauranga on the Jet Pilot uh, Company Manu Construction Crown Kiwi Gear Engineering bike. We uh, are looking back. So. Uh, and then we have your uh, Honda 1-2, Yamaha 3 with Honda then in uh, 4. As we uh, look out for this Lucas Oils, uh, 14 to 16 years class, the 309 of uh, Nixon putting in a uh, mighty effort. As we uh, look further back then to our uh, 86 on board. I'm still looking to pick up on our uh, 96 just for uh, Hayden. And where he is, uh, missed out on him. Man, after you've qualified so well and you have all of that drama from the start of the race, you're on the back foot big time as he uh, tries to make up for something in the race at the moment. So uh, the effort with a quality uh, field, uh, it's not always uh, easy in, or a foregone conclusion. Great to see that we've got Michaela Griffiths. Michaela's out on the 250 today. I'll tell you what, Cody, when you're not looking, mate, she'll steal that bike every time. So uh, uh, you're at home uh, milking the cows. In fact, uh, I understand he's had a, a reasonable injury and uh, prognosis will be quite a while off the bike. So, uh, Cody, you're an awesome star, and uh, we appreciate you supporting uh, your uh, sister as well as you do. Beautiful family, the Griffiths family, love them and their commitment to uh, motocross and the Taupo Motorcycle Club is above and beyond as well. All right, uh, keen to look out for more of our uh, updates uh, going on, the races within the races and uh, just how we're lining up. I see we've got uh, Mark Marlin back there in 16, followed by Lewis, Michaela, Aidan, Cooper, Seaton, uh, Luca, Jake, and unfortunately no laps for uh, Cody. So uh, here we go, uh, keen to look out from the top, still uh, Phoenix, Caden, Nixon, Travis, uh, Jack, Hayden, uh, Ollie, Lucas, Karadiana, and now Lockie, Lockie McLaren. So Lockie's up to uh, 10th place. That's our top 10. So I called Karadiana. She'd actually moved up one. So uh, Karadiana in the ninth place at the moment on the 394. The uh, team uh, Bike Talk Tamaranui supported uh, Kawasaki. Speaking about Bike Talk Tamaranui Otrahonga, thank you to uh, Russell at Bike Talk. He's got him behind the South Waikato Club and sponsoring the King's Cup weekend as well on the Queen's Birthday weekend motocross. Normally, Turbo Sound would be at the uh, fabulous uh, Michael Godfrey Memorial Moto, but unfortunately, due to the uh, drought conditions in the uh, super dry North Canterbury region, uh, that event has been postponed. You just can't go up there and uh, uh, do uh, work, you know, sort of do work on a farm when the when the grass is not even growing. So, man, I mean, so much sympathy. One of the driest parts of New Zealand, uh, North Canterbury, uh, often a lot drier than actually Christchurch or Canterbury is itself. So that North Canterbury, little sort of, you know, the port, uh, port, uh, Gore, uh, Gore Bay and that area around there, man, I'll tell you what, uh, one of the driest parts of the uh, country. So uh, uh, the club uh, having a step back from that one, hopefully they'll have a date and maybe running uh, later in the year as well. In fact, uh, due to COVID, we had a delay of that event uh, back about three years ago. We uh, held it uh, in, uh, last weekend in September when Daylight Saving came about. And I'll tell you what, to go to the Michael Godfrey, one of the features of it is uh, you uh, turn up and have sign on in the dark and you almost finish in the dark because it's close to the shortest day. But going to Daylight Saving time should give them a much better one. But anyway, taking the words out of their mouth, they'll be doing something to let us all know. And we'll be excited to go back to North Canterbury and the fabulous Michael Godfrey uh, event uh, courtesy of Christchurch Off-Road, an all-round cool, fun-friendly club that we've been pleased to be associated with for many good years. Shout out to all of you uh, Christchurch Off-Road members here to compete in the uh, Junior Champs here this year.
All right, uh, ready to go, ready to go. And uh, looks like we're going to be uh, talking with uh, Phoenix. We've got one lap to go, one lap to go on the update at the moment. A time at uh, 201, 201. Remember, of course, uh, when uh, Hayden had qualified fast in his class, he did a 155. Now, talked about the fastest you'll ever go is in your qualifying. That's a good example because Hayden has gone around six seconds slower in his race compared to his qualifying. That's how you qualify. That is so good to see. So there we have it. Uh, we'll be heading uh, trackside and uh, do our uh, interview. Super excited to be able to talk to uh, Phoenix about his racing. Uh, we'll call him a local. He comes from Ohau, just down in the uh, Horofanua uh, Kapiti uh, region. And uh, we'll have him as our uh, one-off uh, rider-winning uh, interview there for uh, 